All right, you guys, this is uh, Mr. Cleaver, and welcome to Life Science Lesson Number Four. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about, uh, actually, we're going to finish talking about our seeds, okay? We uh, had uh, done some a couple of seed um, experiments. Uh, one was where some of us were hopefully growing some uh, avocado seeds, and if you did get a chance to see one sprout, uh, remember that you can actually plant uh, that sprouted seed into the soil and grow an avocado tree if you wanted to. Uh, many of us, however, are not going to be able to do that because ours didn't work out. But we're going to talk about our uh, about our bean seeds and and something did happen and we need to talk about that. Um, that will lead us to continuing to think like a scientist. That's uh, what we've been talking about. How scientists just kind of go out and wonder about stuff and then kind of come up with reasons why they think our uh, things are happening and then run an experiment to see if their thoughts are true or not and if they're not uh, that's information that can be used to uh, try to figure out why that didn't happen or maybe explain to them exactly why something did happen so we'll be looking a little bit into thinking like a scientist and then today our newest uh, topic is going to be learning about plant structures and function and of course we are going to visit another uh, area of uh, interest another habitat in our studies of habitats we are going to be looking at the number three habitat out of our series of five and that number three habitat today is the coastal uh, scrub oak and riparian uh, environment and it's here right here in San Diego we'll be looking at that a little closer so let's move ahead <coughs> well my bean seed was planted in soil and left out in the sun um, and this is the result. As you can see, our uh, our bean seed now is green. It used to be not green, and now it has changed to green. You can see the old seed right here. You see the stem and everything like that. And so the question today is, and this is something you'll be filling out on your seesaw lesson. Um, what happened? Why did this plant that was planted, it's sprouted or germinated uh, in the dark, why did it turn green? And uh, that's something you need to think about, and that's what scientists do. They, they think about stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> the plant that was germinated or sprouted in the dark is now green, and what happened? You're going to write that uh, into the uh, seesaw lesson and you're coming up with your own ideas. You're gonna write your thoughts about why this plant turned from white leaves to green. And you can go back in uh, to the Life Science 3 video to see this, this plant before it was green um, and before it was exposed to the light. When you're trying to answer this question, you are hypothesizing or making a good guess as to why. And that's what hypothesizing is. You, a scientist will see something uh, interesting and then uh, hypothesize, say, why does that happen? I think it's because of this. And that's their hypothesis. And then they go about trying to prove their uh, hypothesis through experiment, or in this case, uh, maybe through research. So you might be able to, to find out why did a plant that was not green, why did it turn green? Um, so here's a hint. If you use the word photosynthesis in your answer, you are on the right path. Now that's a huge long word right there, and it's up to you, if you want to, uh, use that word. Um, look it up, figure out what it is, and then help uh, yourself to that answer, okay? Our last little part today is uh, our exploration of five different habitats that we have explored, including uh, what we're gonna, what you will view today in uh, the seesaw lesson. You'll see video number three is the uh, third of these five. Okay, so um, we've already explored the underwater habitat. We've under, uh, explored the estuary a couple of times, uh, once in the geology unit, and then once again the restoration project up in Cardiff by the sea. So hopefully you guys will get a chance to go up there. Today we're going to look at coastal oak and the riparian forest. So that'll be fun. 
And then uh, our final two destinations for our habitats is the desert habitat and the alpine forest and, uh, and the alpine meadow. And we'll be looking at that in the uh, future. <coughs> However, it is uh, middle of February and uh, some of the plants already think it's spring. Why? Well, we're in San Diego and uh, it doesn't get as cold as it does in other places. So uh, I'm going to take you on a little uh, kind of trip around my yard and uh, see some plants that are blooming and uh, some plants are getting ready to bloom and uh, kind of look at the flowers. So you're going to be looking at the first uh, video of this one and uh, learning about the lesson. The second one is about plants uh, and the function and structure of plants. Okay, And then the last video you'll be viewing is the one about the uh, coastal uh, scrub oak and riparian uh, environment or habitats. So let's go ahead and let's take a trip around the yard and look at some some flowers. All right.